time is just another holiday I thought. With the very recent wisdom I've got, I salute the leaders who had fought. When This Republic Day, let us take an oath to Mother India that we will do everything we can for our country's prosperity and betterment. Today, India will mark its 73rd Republic Day. So on this auspicious occasion, I would like to call Master P.U. Sahu to deliver an enlightening speech. Stroke of midnight hour, when the whole world sleeps, India will awake to life and freedom. My dear friends, these were the exact words of the first Prime Minister of our India, Pandit Jawaharlal Nehru. And with these powerful words, I, Master Piyu Shahu of Grade 90, wish you a very happy Republic Day on this grand eve. This day reminds us of the great independence struggle and how the valiant freedom fighters laid their life just to get us Purna Swaraj. As days and years are begun, this state will forever stay in our hearts. This day also shows us the vast diversity of our nation. Our constitution was first adopted by the Constitution Assembly on 26 November 1949 until it was officiated on the date 26 January 1950. The constitution was made by a drafting committee which was spearheaded by the Honorary Dr. Bhim Rao Ambedkar. This is the day where we swear our allegiance to our nation. It is our duty that we uphold the right of the constitution and not only respect the country but also show our gratitude to all those valiant fighters who laid their lives just for the sake of betterment of our country. Nonetheless, it gives me immense pride to be an Indian. I would just like to end my speech here with a quote. A thoughtful mind when sees a nation's flag does not see the flag but sees the nation itself. Last but not the least, Jai Dhanyavad Piyush, Aple Bhashan Khub Changle Thale. Utsav Teen Rangan Cha, Abhari Yad Chajla, Natamastak Mitya Sarvanna, Jaini Ha Bharat Desh Gadvila. Ata Aple Samor, Kaya Music Students Ek Gana Shadar Karna Rai. Chala, Tarmak Ek Sum Madur Geet Aiku Ya.
let the occasion of Republic Day instill in us the values of fearlessness, excellence and the will to chase our dreams. It is a big honor for us to have a principal, Ms. Manalisa Basu, to address our school on this occasion. Good day everyone. India, a unique country, unparalleled and unrivaled by any other country of the world. From the lofty mountains in the north to the huge vast oceans and seas in the south to the white desert in the west to the mystic east and the marble hills in central India. We enjoy as a country huge physical diversity not only physical diversity but regional diversity as well. We follow different languages, speak various dialects, eat different kinds of food, pray to different gods, follow different religions, wear different kinds of clothes. Despite all this diversity, we all Indians are bound together by the love for this country. India is a unique nation and no other nation enjoys such diversity as we Indians. And dear students, this is what makes India great. India adopted the constitution on 26 January 1950 and became a republic. It is also one of the largest democracies of the world and we are proud Indians for the same. As people of India, we have various greats Mahatma Gandhi, Swami Vivekanand, Rabindranath Tagore, Subhash Chandra Bose, Bal Gangadhar Tilak, Sardar Vallabhai Patel, just to name a few greats. So, the people of India make this country great. There are personalities and there are people who make this country and who have led this country and brought it and gave it name and fame. So, dear students, as proud Indians, you have the power, you have the strength to make this country even greater. The real strength of any country lies in its people and hence you as students are powerful enough because you are the future of this country and within you lies the power to change and make India greater. On the occasion of 73rd Republic Day, I wish each and every student, their parents and their family members a very happy Republic Day. May you all remain safe and keep others around you safe. Jai Bharat, Jai Hind. To sum up the event, I would like to call Ekta Narlawar for a vote of thanks. Gratitude is the fairest blossom that springs from the soul. On this occasion of Republic Day, I, Ms. Ekta Narlawar, take this opportunity to express my sincere gratitude to thank our school management for giving us a platform to showcase our talents and build confidence. I would like to thank our principal, Ms. Monali Sabazu, and our vice principal, Ms. Goduli Chakrabarti, for their inspiration and valuable support. I extend my heartfelt gratitude to our coordinator, Ms. Pramila Tiwari, and all the teachers for their guidance. Ye baat hawao ko batai rakhna, roshni hogi chirago ko jalai rakhna, lahu dekar jiski hifazat ki hamne, us tirange ko hamesha dil mein basai rakhna. Thank you all. Vande Mataram. Jai Hind.